Hello everyone. So today's video is covering the new Bentley supercar spins. Now I actually already did this opening on my stream earlier. So thank you again, Lord Sire for all the UC that he gifted me. We were able to get some crazy luck. So if you're interested, go ahead and like, and subscribe and let's get to it. But before we get started, I want to give a huge thank you to PUBG Mobile for sponsoring today's video. I'm super excited to announce that I'll be participating in the PUBG Mobile 6th Anniversary World Tour happening on March 27th at 5 p.m. Pacific Time or 8 p.m. Eastern. There's going to be a total of 32 creators in the event with a variety of different maps and $10,000 in prizes. Not only that, you guys, there will also be a massive sweepstakes with $50,000 in prizes, which includes Apple Vision Pros, Samsung devices, and more. PUBG Mobile has been going strong for six years and continues to push the boundaries of what's possible for a mobile FPS title by introducing new content and new collaborations constantly to the game. And that's not all. Just when you think it's over, PUBG Mobile has released the new 3.1 update, which has taken the game by storm. The new 3.1 update has some amazing features, such as the Nimbus Islands, where you can go, get a respawn card, and also dodge the blue zone with time to explore and find some amazing loot. The Nimbus Islands also have the flying carpet vehicle, which you can use to fly through the map in style, as well as the magic lamp, which if you find it, you can use to spawn in the genie, which allows you to get some amazing loot as well as an extra respawn card. You can also talk to a genie on the map to gain the divine spear, which can be thrown medium to long distances with a mighty hurl dragging you along with it. The 3.1 update also features the grooving grenade, which can be thrown and suppresses your enemy with the power of dance. You can also get a portal staff that creates two portals that transfers players, vehicles, and throwables between them at will. Finally, the new PUBG Mobile 3.1 update features a treasure ship, which is always visible on the map, and if you're willing to take a risk, it has massive rewards, as well as an ultimate crate that you can get at the end of its final destination. But if you're looking for a less risky option, the treasure vaults are definitely the way to go. So like I said, make sure to tune in on March 27th at 5 p.m. PST to watch us compete for the $10,000 prize pool. You guys can also win awesome prizes via the $50,000 sweepstakes. You can support me by downloading PUBG Mobile for free using my tracking link in the descriptions down below or in the pinned comments. And once again, happy sixth anniversary PUBG yes, Mobile opening. All right, so hello everyone. Today we are gonna quickly test our luck on the Bentley Speed Drift. We have zero out of nine currently collected. But let's go ahead and take a look at all the rewards that you can get. Obviously there's some mythics and all that kind of stuff that you can claim, but we are here hopefully to get at least one token. I do get purchase gifts, so I could claim my purchase gifts as well, which I haven't already. So for the coupe, you get the Batur, the Bentley Batur in pearlescent silver. This one actually is not that bad. The hollow prism. I think this one is probably my favorite Bentley skin that they have right now. That isn't the masterpiece. The only thing is I don't want another coop skin, but like the UAZ skins for the Bentley are not that great. We have the Bentley Bentayaga Azure and the Azure in galaxy glitter. I mean, we also have the the Dacia Miller. This one in Silver Storm. I'm not a big fan of this. Like I saw a lot of people were like going for these cars. This one's cool, but it's not as good as the holographic coupe. And then also last but not least, oh, that's it? Oh no, here we go. Yeah, the Murado, we have it in Holocrystal and, Holocrystal and Tanzanite Pearl. This one's really nice too. But if I don't want to go for a Murado, the UAZ suck. I think I would honestly get it in the coupe or the Dacia. The coupe one, I think is the cutest one. For one token, the coupe one is the cutest one. All right, let's see what we can do. I do already have 700 uh, tokens. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know. I don't know what like the methodology is on this, so we're just gonna speed through AK. Fail. It's okay if we fail early on. And like don't get plus twos early on because in it increases our chances of getting a plus two later on. 
Well, I just got a plus two. Am I screwed? Maybe. Okay, let's keep going. And I did see, correct me if I'm wrong, there is a chance to get a rebate on this. Okay. See, okay, no. See, this is the bad thing about this. Cause I just got two plus twos. So the odds are that I'm gonna hit a six. And if I hit a six, each one is gonna be 5,000. The odds are not in my favor to hit a seven with two plus twos. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> oh, no shot. You're literally joking. We hit three plus twos in a row. We just got it. No shot. We just got it like that. That was the easiest car opening I've ever done in my life. GG's. Chat can choose which one they want. So we can get the bot tour. This is the pearlescent silver. I actually really like the look of this one. This is probably my favorite one for one coin, even though I have like a bajillion other coops. We have the UAZ in the magnetic that we could claim. We have the convertible in Tanzanite Pearl. This one's also really sick. And we have the Dacia, which is the Damson over a Silver Storm. Here you go. We're going to do one match. And then we're going to come back to this and see which one has the most votes. All right, you guys. So as you saw, we did manage to get one coin. We got really lucky in the stream. Thank you again to Lord Sire. But now I did take a poll on my YouTube channel. I'll show the results of the poll above me somewhere in the screen. But as you can see, the bot tour won. Chat spoke and they really wanted me to claim the coop skin. So we're gonna go ahead and use our token to claim the coop. Awesome. So we got the Bentley bot tour right here. Let's quickly share that. So we also got the vehicle collection perks. Now, let me show you. Ideally, if I do continue, oh. Use Lucky Vouchers to unlock in advance and get a full rebate of the Lucky Vouchers used when the collection requirements are met. I actually could use my Lucky Vouchers, 300 of them, to get the rims if I wanted to. This is the main thing that I want. Like, I really want the rims. I don't know if it's worth it. Either that or I get the Murado and I just get the rims for free. But we have the exclusive rim. Obviously, if you get three, you get the Elimination Broadcast. The exclusive voice. You are now the proud owner of a Bentley. That one's not bad. That one sounds nicer than the other ones. We have the container appearance, the exclusive license plate, and grand debut. With a title. All right, so yeah, we get the grand debut, all that stuff, but honestly, I'm not gonna go for the masterpiece or anything like that anytime soon. I haven't found a car that I like enough to spend that much money on. There you guys go. That is the new Coop Bator skin. It looks really nice. Honestly, I feel like the Bentleys are more of a old school, very like classy car compared to the sporty cars that we usually get, which is why I really like it and it's really unique. But if I were to go for it, do not go for the UAZ guys. Get any other skin in this spin but the UAZ. If I see any Bentley UAZs in any of my matches, I'm gonna be so disappointed in you guys, okay? But there you go, that is the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below which one is your favorite Bentley skin in this spin. So thank you again to PUBG Mobile for sponsoring today's video. I look forward to seeing you guys in the event on Wednesday and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.